Okay, this is uh, the derivative of an exponential function. Whenever you have an exponential function, b just represents uh, some base, some number. And then the variable is in the exponent. You would use this. Okay, so to take the derivative of b to the x, we would use this formula. Now, the formula is really nice. There's a workaround besides the formula, but it's not so nice. Okay, we're going to uh, derive this really fast or prove it to show you guys that when we take the derivative of this, we get that. Okay? All right, but first, I have to re remind you guys. Do you guys know, um, like, what this is? If I put e to the natural log of 5, do you guys know what that equals? Do you guys remember? Yeah, that, that equals 5. So, why? Because... Base E and natural log are inverses of each other, and so when you um, do that with them, they cancel out. Uh, it's kind of like uh, if you had if you had the natural log of E to the five, the natural log and the E would cancel out. You'd be left with five. Okay, you guys remember doing, doing that? Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make we're going to make B equal E to the natural log of X. No, I'm sorry, not x, of uh, b. Okay, is that true? Does, I mean, when I do that, because you would cancel these out and you get b, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to make b equal that. So if we're going to take the derivative of this, we're really going to be taking the derivative of e to the natural log of b, and then that is being raised to the x power. So this is, this is our b right here. b to the x, that's our b. All right, does that make sense? Because we would cancel these out, we'd be left with b. So why am I doing that? I'm doing that because natural log is a, a special logarithm, and it's the only one, uh, or, or I'm sorry, base e is the only one where if you take the derivative of e to the x, you just get e to the x. And so it's really nice. So we want e to the x. This is kind of like your e to the x. What's the derivative of e to the x? e to the x. Okay, so, um, so let's uh, manipulate this a little bit before we actually take the derivative. Uh, we have to take this exponent and multiply it to this exponent. So how would that look? That would be e to the natural log of b times x. So let's put the x out in front of the natural log. We're going to take the derivative of that. So now I want you to look at this like you're just taking... Um, like if you were just taking a derivative of, let's see, d over dx, you're taking the derivative of this, that just equals this. It's whatever is inside there, it's the same thing, okay? But if you were to take the derivative of, let's see, d over dx, let's say we had e to the 5x. This one's different because now we have a function inside of a function. So if we have a function inside of a function, what do we have to do? Chain rule. And that's what we have right here. We have a function inside of the function. So we're going to have to do the chain rule here. So first of all, what's the derivative of this whole thing? It's, the same thing? it's just the same thing because it's e to the whatever. So that's going to equal uh, e to the x natural log of b. But then we're going to have to multiply it. We're going to have to multiply it times the derivative of what's inside of that function. And what's inside that function? It's x times the natural log of b. Now this part is kind of weird, so I'm going to write just a derivative of x times the natural log of b. What is that? Okay, <coughs> look at this right here like it's a constant. It's just a number, right? Natural log of b is just going to be a number. There's no variables in there. I know it says b, but we're assuming like we have that number. So what would that be? Yeah? Yeah, it'd be 1, right? Actually, well, it's not, it's not 1, but uh, I know what you're saying. Um, like, okay, if we had x times 5, we wouldn't really write it like that. We would write it like uh, 5x, right? But what is the derivative of this? This equals 5. So what's the derivative of this one going to be? Yeah, natural log of b. So... I'm just going to copy this. It's e to the x natural log of b. Um, and we're going to multiply that times the natural log, whoops, natural log of b. Because the derivative of this is just going to be the natural log of b. It's kind of like with the 5. The derivative of this is just going to be 5? 
the derivative of this is just going to be the natural log of b. So, I mean, it looks kind of weird. But um, now if I switch the order there, it would be that times e to the x natural log of b. Now, we can actually simplify this a little bit more. <coughs> because we have a, a base e and a natural log up in the exponent, you guys know what you're supposed to do here? Here, check this out. First, let's take this x right here and make it the exponent of the b. You guys okay with that? That's a that's a that's a lo that's a law in, in in logarithms. You're allowed to do that. If some if a number is multiplying, like let's say we had five times log base two of x, this is the same as log base two of x to the fifth. We're allowed to take this five and put it up there. You guys remember that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So so that's what I did with that x. I took that x and I put it up there. Hey, can, let me finish and then I, I'll answer questions, okay? So I take that x and I put it up there. And now I have e to the natural log. So what's going to happen with that e in the natural log? These are going to cancel out. And this guy is going to kind of like, I mean, if you have an animated mind, he would float down there and just become a regular number. So this is going to equal our answer, natural log of b times b to the x power. And that's what we got right here. That's our formula. Oh, we're proving. Yeah, that's it. Okay, questions.